What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. I've run into a very, very, very strange situation here. So, this one is another Imperial Navy Ascension opportunity, but it requires trade rank of mostly penniless, which is odd. But then there's this one. Which is a naval ascension opportunity that didn't require anything. All it needed was military plans. So I grabbed it. I, I apologize. <laughs> I probably should have recorded it. Uh, but quite frankly, I just didn't want it to go away. And I was afraid of things going away. So we have our navy ascension mission. It, yeah, we, yeah, mm hmm. We need two military stolen plans. This type of mission is something we wouldn't normally assign to an officer of your exalted status. You flatter me. But we need a cleanup mission completely urgently. Completed urgently. Mm -hmm. People of my exalted status. We, we, don't, we don't need to read. We recently lost contact with several ships performing covert recon sweeps of the NLTT-10259 system. Wow, that's a mouthful. We fear the worst and can only hope that their attackers didn't realize the importance of what was being carried on those ships. Retrieve the military plans for us and we'll elevate your excess level to dollar sign, hashtag, hashtag, rank reward. <laughs> oh, sorry. I know that I know they mean well. I know they're they're meaning to promote me to Baron, so Alright. So come completely changed what I was planning on doing this episode. Completely. I was planning on, like, heading to a resource extraction site or a combat zone, because I found out I'm at about... I haven't done the math, but somebody apparently did the math, and told me that I'm at about 700-ish kills, which is why I'm at an expert rank, give or take. Um, and I think you need 4,300-ish in that ballpark to get to deadly to which i was kind of like i'm never getting a clipper ever ever but this kind of shows that there's different missions as far as the one in the, at the end of the last episode we needed to be a deadly rank but i think that was some kind of assassination mission um the one that we just saw in the available but unobtainable section needed you to be a certain trade rank, and then this one didn't require anything, or at least I met the requirements. I won't say it didn't. I kind of clicked it awful fast, because it said re a reward was barren, and I'm like, yep! I'm taking it! It's mine! Don't go away! Don't leave! So yeah, apparently you can get different... Originally, back in... Hmm, was it beta? Man, that was a while ago. It was either beta, or it was when it first, like, launched. Officially. Um, it ended up being one of those where, like, they had kind of a set mission for every rank, like, depending on what rank you- there's even guides that you can find online that, d depending on what rank you were going for, depending on what mission you would get. So I was very depressed the other day, thinking, oh man, I'm just not- oh wow, there is nothing here. At. All. <laughs> There's no station, there's no nav beacon, like, this is, when it says deep space, it ain't lying. Um, okay. I'm in the right system, right? NLTT, one, two, yeah, I'm in the right place. Ah, okay. I was gonna say, we're just gonna have to look for signal sources and stuff, and speak of the devil! Man, that would be great. I have enough cargo space, right? Let's. I always forget about my. Yeah, okay. I always forget about my cargo containers and everything because I never use it. I have 16. I just never use the thing. I know everybody gets on me when I take like the reports for power play or whatever, and then don't do anything with them, and you know, it's like two episodes later, and I'm like, why can't I buy anything? Oh yeah, I've got like reports in my cargo hold. Mm -hmm. So, it'd be kind of awesome if we came across what we needed right now. That'd be great. Just saying. Um, 
but yeah. So, I apologize for not showing it at the beginning. I just, I saw it. I was like, I'll check the bulletin board, see if it's still there, make sure I haven't gone down in rank, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and like, right off the bat, it was right there, and I'm like, ooh! Okay, he's lawless. Or, lawless. Scan detected. Don't worry, scan doesn't hurt. What else we got? Cobra hauler. Man, this isn't really what I wanted. I don't think. I think it says... Retrieve the plants. Yeah, so it's not something we need to, like, shoot down a hauler or something. I was thinking because there was a hauler there that maybe we'd have to take the hauler out and get its stuff, but... That's not how the mission makes it sound. It makes it sound like it's gonna be one of those where you drop in and there's just, like, junk floating around. Ah! I really would rather not fly into a star, thank you. Alright. So yeah, I guess this is just gonna end up being a waiting game that we've just gotta fly- at least there's nothing to distract us. Like, there isn't a bunch of stuff, nav beacons, things like- like, it, it's- we can't miss it! If it's gonna show up, it's gonna show up! I am gonna kinda hang around the star, though. If I can. Just because I don't like veer- if, you know, veering too far away from it. Wait, where did it- speaking of veering too far away, where did it go? I think I already lost the star. I'm getting light! Oh, there it is. Wow. I'm actually moving pretty quick to have lost it like that. Alright. So I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna hang out here. And, um... Uh, I will come back whenever I find an unidentified signal source that actually looks like it's gonna give me what I need. Alright, looks like we might have something. Literally, like, ten seconds. Yep, military plans. Awesome. Hopefully we don't get jumped. Cargo scoop. Yeah, it was literally like ten seconds or something after I said, like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out and wait for this to show up that then all of a sudden they were like right there. And we only need two, so no need to get greedy. Uh oh. I got contact. You guys better leave me alone. One down. We're just gonna go for this one. And then we're gonna move as soon as I grab this. Military plans two. I am reading that right, right? Military plans two. Alright, cool. We're out. Um, and just FYI... What was I going to... Oh, crap. What system is Wakea in? Dang it! Should be close. Or wait, no, Wakea is the system. Why isn't it showing up on my map thing? Oh, whatever. Um, what was I gonna tell everybody? Huh! I don't know. I completely lost it. Alright, well, whatever. Okay, that is right, right? I'm surprised it didn't come up and, like, tell me mission update or something, or at least I didn't see it. I don't know. Probably should have grabbed more of them, but... I think I just- I'm paranoid now. I'm, I'm like, I'm paranoid this is gonna be some bug or glitch and it's not gonna let me have what I need. <laughs> it's gonna be like, nope, we lied to you. Okay, like, this doesn't say return. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's making me a bit paranoid, I guess. Alright. I wonder if I can actually get the clipper here, or if I should. I'll have to find out... Um... Well... I heard that there's actually a bug that even though I'm a premium beta backer, that I shouldn't actually have access to the Founders World. I'm not entirely positive about that. I mean, I've seen articles about it in forum posts and stuff. 
but I was almost positive that they said if you were premium, not just beta, but like if you were premium backer, that you did get access to the Founder's World when the game launched. I could totally be wrong, but I could have swore they said something about that, but... So anyways, I've had people tell me to like not buy and leave a ship, like leave the Vulture in the Founder's World and then go fly off somewhere because if they ever fix that glitch, I won't be able to get back to the Vulture. Not a huge deal, but it is something to think about. Um, the other thing is I've, I've heard from other people that, you know, I think Frontier has basically been like, you know, that was our screw up, so we're not going to like punish you for that since it really wasn't your fault kind of thing, which that's cool. Like I, I can at least appreciate that. Um, but I'll have to check and see how far away the Founder's World is, because if it really is that far, it may not be worth flying all the way out there to buy it, but I mean, I think it shaves like a m couple million off of it. I think normally it's like 21 or 22 million to buy a clipper, and it's like 20 at the Founder's World. So it might be worth it. I don't know. Especially when we've got to deal with um, upgrades and weapons and oh gosh, all that all over again. Blah. Though I don't think I'll be able to fully upgrade it like the vulture is like done i can't really do a whole lot to my vulture anymore but i don't think i'll be able to do that for the clipper for a while because i used that shipbuilding tool that website and i think it came out to something stupid like 75 million or something before i was actually done <laughs> upgrading the thing i mean that's including buying it so it was probably closer to like 55 or something but still it was just like wow that's a lot of money So, who knows? But if all goes well, we'll have our clipper. Um, I guess I should probably do a manual landing this time with illicit cargo, maybe. Oh crap. Well, let's just go for it. I don't see any system authority vessels around. Oh, there they are. Come on, Autodoc. Go, 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 go. Dude, this new Autodoc is pretty darn awesome, though. Like, it boosts and. It's great. Alright, that's good. That's good. You're passing it. Where are you going? This thing is totally going to get scanned. Uh, I'm okay with it if they just find me. I don't want them to take the cargo, though. I'm thinking I might just wait for it to do that, and then just might go for it. No? Okay. And the other thing is, I'm pretty sure... Somebody told me once that it's the ships outside that scan you. That's why there's no scanning at outposts. And that... Makes sense, because I've never been scanned once I got in um, the station. So that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. I guess where I'm going with that is, once you're inside the station, you can kind of relax, I guess. Alright, let's see if this is legit. It better be legit. Give cargo. Wait a minute. What the? I'm a Baron! What? Now, what's interesting is I have another one right here. What is this? Also ranked up to Baron. That doesn't seem good. Wait, this is the same mission. Oops, I didn't mean outfitting him at shipyard. Dang it. It does say Baron. It does say Baron. I would just like to point that out, like, repeatedly. It says Baron. So, you know, if next episode I log in and I'm not a Baron, I'm not going to be too happy about that. That's why I'm going to try and see if they have the ship. I might just buy it while they're being nice about everything. Wow, why is everything all dark? 
That was weird. Cobra, type 6, type 9. Okay, they don't... Nope, they don't have anything. Good to know. Um, do they have... Let's do class descending... Gimbal pulse lasers at E3. Burst lasers... I don't see any beam lasers, though. Alright. So let's find out where Founder's World is at. I always forget the system. Luckily, when you just type in Founder, it seems to find it okay. So let's see where that's located. Founder. Oh, good golly. 120. Eh, that's not terrible. Okay, fastest probably won't work that well, because we'd have to refuel quite often. Let's see what an eco jump looks like. I hate economic jumps just because you do get further. Um, I forget how it goes. The the shorter... Hmm, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong. The shorter the jump, but more of them, the faster, or the more efficient your trip. So as you can see, like there, we get almost halfway before we actually have to stop and refuel, as opposed to the fastest route, which was not the case. But where's the... Alright, I gotta change the map view, because I can't see all the systems here. What are you? You have no system data. That's not good. Ugh. It's a T6V. I forget. I have... Hold on a minute. I've got somewhere in my... Okay. Vs are not fuel scoopable. That's not good. What about you? Okay, your Federation. I can park there. So what's the closest? Perfect. We'll pr plot a route to that. And then we'll head over there. Alright, so I will be back momentarily. Alrighty, we have arrived here at Jameson Memorial, which is in the... Oh gosh. What is it? Shinrarta system? Shinrarta. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm going with. Um... So this is basically the Founder World, and for the, any of you that are just tuning in that haven't seen it before. Um, so yeah, still has me at a Baron, which is good. I want to buy this ship before it decides to change its mind. I don't trust the rep system anymore, basically. It's very confusing. Whoa now. Auto docking, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, go. Scan so yeah, um, let's see. I guess there's really nothing for me to do or check. I'm always checking stuff while it's auto docking. Yeah, this this place is weird. That it forward. it's like. Most of the factions are, like, there's two of them that are fed, and the others just aren't aligned with anybody. Yet, you don't get, like, flagged as hostile or whatever for being part of a... It, it's just weird. It's just a weird place, to me. Alrighty. Here we go. I'm so excited. Okay, let's refuel. Shipyard. 20 ships, holy crap. Hauler, adder, viper, cover, diamondback. Oh, diamondbacks are only 500,000. I didn't know that. I never could really find them. Uh, two medium hard points, that's not bad. Type 6, diamondback explorer. Uh, hard, medium hard point. I'd like to know what's the difference between the Diamondback Explorer and the Asp Explorer. That's what I'd like to figure out. Imperial Courier, which is a nimble little booger. 
Vulture, of course. Um, I've noticed the ASP doesn't say Explorer anymore. It does in the description, but it used to, I think, I'm pretty sure it used to. Federal Dropship Imperial Clipper. What? So we'll have two medium hard points. There should be two smaller hard points somewhere. Yeah, two medium hard points. Oh, two large ones. I'm sorry. So it's it just lists down here. Oh, I didn't think about that. This is just listing what it comes equipped with. This is actually what it's capable of. Orca's 43 million? I'm guessing the Orca is more of a trade ship. Would be my guess. I feel like they might have knocked the Python down a bit. Because it's only 50. I feel like it used to be more. I know I am at the... Um, yeah. The Founders Station, so... Might be a little different. Too small, too medium. This one's got two medium, one large. That's not a bad setup. And the ASP has four small and two medium. Alright, enough of that. I just actually like checking stuff here because it's... Okay, buy new ship and sell your current ship. Cost of new ship, part exchange on old ship. Wow. So if I trade in the, in the Vulture, we only pay two million. Oh, that's tempting. Mm, that's tempting. I've never sold my ships just because I never know if I ever want to go back to them. I... Oh, that's so tempting, though. For only 2.5 million? Oh, that would leave me with like 33 million-ish left to work with. I'm going to do it. Sorry, Vulture. Love you to death. You've been a phenomenal good ship. Good little ship. Love you. Sorry. I gotta go with the Clipper, though. I'm, I'm dumping my money into this thing. I don't know how long this is gonna take to load. Um, I should probably pause it. Oh, man! What? Wow. This thing is roomy. Holy crap! We got ourselves a clipper. Now, I'm thoroughly disappointed that the HUD is orange still because all of the concept art showed it as blue, and I was super stoked. It's part of the one of the biggest reasons that got me into the ship. I don't know, just it's a better ship and everything. Kind of one of those like window shopping. It's the thing that gets you in the door. Was the the HUD looked blue, and I was like, ooh, blue HUD. That's awesome. It is not here, however. Um, there is a means, though, that I just never wanted to use because I wanted to be authentic. Oh! Look at it! Oh, wait, what is it? Where are those hard points? Okay, the two are at the bottom. There's two utility, two... It's so zoomed in, I can't... Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna exit the security... or system services. We're gonna do debug cam. Because I gotta figure out where these hard points are. Yes, I know. Derpy way to do it. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. It's a thing of beauty! It's so beautiful! I'm so excited. So, it looks like the, um... The hard points are in the wing modules there, on the right and the left, I guess, is where the large ones are located, which makes sense. Um... Not entirely positive where the other utility mounts are. I think the medium hard points are down here. On the undercarriage somewhere. I can't tell. There's so many cool lights on the thing that it's like... I can't tell if it's system lighting or if it's actually the points. So yeah, that's definitely on the wing pod. That's on the undercarriage by the landing gears. That's also that's under the wings. Those I don't know where they are. Okay. Now, large. Class descending. Let me see what we've got to work with. Oh! 
Class 3 D-rated beam turret lasers. Dang. That'll work. Oh, they have Class 3s. Yes. We are buying those. I'm glad we kept money. I'm glad we kept money. Oh, it was so worth selling the vulture. To Oh, wait, no, that's Fragment Cannon. I don't want that. Uh, where did my... There they are. Mm. So we literally just now kept the same kind of firepower that our <laughs> our other ship had. Now, I don't remember. I don't have my build pulled up at the moment. I don't recall what I put in this slot. I think I went with these. I think I had more beam lasers. Maybe I went with multi-cannons. I really can't remember. I cannot remember what I did. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to check that and then I'll be back in a second. This is the most amazing ship of all time. <laughs> like, okay. So, you... M I might be doing something really dumb though. Um, if you care to direct your attention towards my new balance, it's at 240,000. My rebuy cost is almost 2 million. Not really a good thing, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful when I take on missions. But, but, there is a big but here. I have this thing almost completely decked out to what I wanted to do with the exception of a few minor things. Well, they're not minor, but... So, first of all, we've got two class... Wait, is it class three? Yes, class three rating C. C3 gimbaled beam lasers. Two D2 beam lasers gimbaled as well. Kill warrant scanner. Two A-class shield boosters or A-rated shield boosters, one point defense. What? So this thing's loaded for bear. I did not, I was not able to buy upgraded uh, hull, because the reinforced was 8, and the military grade was 18 million, which is kind of insane. I did get the max power plant, though. A6. Rated A, class 6. What? So, our total available power is 25 megawatts. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Million watts. Whatever. I don't know. Um, I went to a D6 thruster, which is actually what I planned on doing to begin with. Um, it was the nice. It was a nice balance of... It was upgraded, but it wasn't so upgraded that we were going to use up all of our power in trying to, you know, go overboard. Frameshift was supposed to be an A5 for my build that I had done, but I could only afford a B5 at the moment, which was fine. It got us up to 13 light years laden, um, which is pretty good for the already size of the ship. Uh, life support, it's basic. It's kind of, I don't know. I just have a hard time upgrading those because it requires power and, you know, whatever. Power distributor was the one I didn't expect to be able to afford, and I got an A6 power distributor, so I'm stoked about that. Sensors, uh, basic. Fuel tank, um, what it already had in it. It was a C4, so it's 16, which apparently is the max. At least in that... Yeah, it only has one fuel slot, so I guess that's the biggest I can, I can do. Shield generator, I couldn't afford the big one, so I went with a C7. It was kind of a... it was still an upgrade. Uh, I did put an A6 shield cell bank in here, though, so we're back to cell banks, which is awesome. We have two cargo racks. I think that was how I planned on doing this. I'm not sure. But we do have an extra bay if we wanted to take the 8, eight out and put, you know, a uh, maintenance unit or some kind of limpet system, cargo limpet, something. I don't know. Two D3 hull reinforcement packages to up our durability just in case our shields actually do fall. An A2 fuel scoop and a standard docking computer. So, other than the things that are still left on my list to do is the alloys, the bulkhead. Um, the frame shift still has one more upgrade I can do to it. Uh, the shield generator I really want to upgrade because I like my shields. 
Um, and I think, though, check this out, if I did my math correctly. No, rating descending. Is it descending? Oh, crap. No, I need module type. My bad. Hull reinforcement, refinery, fuel scoop. A lot of fuel scoops. Uh, where are you? Wait, did I pass it? Shield cell. Oh, I don't have an interdictor anymore. Ugh, that might be where that other one goes. So we are just barely over at an A7 shield generator. We're just barely over the available power limit, literally by 0 .01, which is crazy. Um, actually, let me see if I were to put it here. Let's see if I can throw... F I mean, I don't think I'm actually going to, because then I would literally have, like, no money, and that's dangerous. Um... That would be quite a jump in power consumption, but I could put the basic one in there for like 10 grand. That's not a bad deal. Um, what does our power look like? Oh, it was just adding 0.14 power draw. Hmm. Yeah, I might. Eh, mm. Yeah, I'll put it in there. It's only 10 grand for now. Actually, it's nothing, really, because it kind of switched that. So, yeah. This thing's a beast. Um, I do... Oops. I do need to work with the fire groups to add in... We'll put the interdictor on the same one as the warrant scanner. And... Does it matter? I've still been debating on whether the frameshift drive interdictor actually matters if it's... We'll put it in the second bay doesn't matter. We're not over our limit anyway. So I have one set up where you're firing all lasers. You have kill warrant scanner and frame shift interdictor. The second one is all of them and then the shield cell bank. So like once you're in combat and then the third one is if you wanted to just fire one or both of the sets. So yeah we're uh we're pretty set up. I'm I'm pretty happy with this ship. The one problem is going to be keeping it alive. Uh, pirate Pirates Federation outbreak. Uh, nope. I was kind of looking to see if there was any. I don't want to do an assassination mission. That's too risky. Let's just check out the nav beacon. I'm hoping I don't die. Just flying out the door because this thing is big and I'm not used to flying a big ship. So I think it's awesome though. There's there's like a whole other there's like a secondary cockpit. Oh wow, we're at a bigger we're at a bigger dock too. Ship released. Engines engaged. Ooh. Landing gear retracted. Alright. Uh dude get out of the way. Big clipper coming through. I, that's the only thing here, though, is I've never flown something this big. I feel like I'm driving a truck now. I gotta be able to get out the door. Can I get out the door? Where's my wings? I'm just gonna take up the middle of the road. Hey, we made it out the door. I didn't die. Oh, listen to that. And it all lights up. Oh my gosh! This is like the best ship ever! Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is the scan net? Detected. Don't you scan me. Brand spanking new ship. I'll blow you up. Um. I don't actually see a nav beacon anywhere. I thought there was. Alright, well let's just get outside the no fire zone. Alright, so it's actually not that slow either. I was kind of expecting it to be a bit slower. But I mean, at full power, it's going faster than the Vulture. So, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty! Look at that, right there. Mm. 
Beautiful ship. So excited. Uh, we gotta be past there, so... I love how I can deploy four beam lasers and there's no... Uh, power plant capacity exceeded. You know, none of that. Alright, so if I put all into weapons... What's my full speed? <laughs> what? This thing is a beast. Let's check out its handling. Ooh. Mm, I love the sound of its engines. Man, that's cool. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I have to admit something. Um, no, screw it. Never mind. I was going to say we might have to wrap this episode up here because I actually have some, I have some stuff going on this weekend. I'm going to be out of town. And so I'm trying to get all of my recording done before then. So, I was going to cut this episode a little bit short, but I really was not expecting to be flying a clipper. Mm. Especially one that's actually pretty darn tricked out already. I mean, granted, there's still way more we can do with it, but... I don't... Wait a minute. Where is the nav beacon? Oh, there it is. Came up on my HUD and it's not in my transactions. Or my navigation panel. That's weird. Oh, it's way down here. <laughs> Just goes to show you, ship doesn't make a pilot. You can have a really cool ship and a really dumb pilot. Um. So yeah, I will feel way more comfortable once we're back up to like two million, and I know I can easily rebuy the ship because I don't think ship insurance rebuy cost. I thought there was a place that it showed what your max loan was that you could have. But I don't remember what it was. Because if I can't... Ugh, yeah. Ugh. If I can't actually rebuy my ship, even with a loan, I'm not going to be a happy camper. So this is my starting uh, weapon group just because that way I can scan people and fire all my lasers but the one past that I'm also going to have to get used to how this accelerates and slows down too I'm just going to have to get used to it but look at the lights I saw the pretty lights look at all the lights I love the lights and I'm interested that there's a second uh, chair there I know that there was talk of them doing uh, multi ships were like bigger ones that you could fly as a team, like more than one person. But that's gonna, I think that's supposed to be after the um, patch where you get, uh, what do you call it, where you can walk around your ship and like jump into different ships and stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the lighting. I love this ship. This is like my favorite ship ever. Um, by the next episode, though, I'm hoping to have used that mod thing that it's like modifying an XML file and you can change the HUD. We're going straight blue and white and stuff to match the ship, because this ship is cool. I forgot to put my skull decals on it and my elite wings, whatever. We'll get that in a minute. I don't know if, um, some of you elite experts out there can answer this for me. Um... I've been curious about the super cruising speeds and stuff as to whether uh, the the ship you're flying actually matters as it super cruise. I know it can matter for jump distance and stuff like that, but just for super cruising speed and how long it takes you to get from one area to another kind of thing. I've been curious about that as to whether or not that has any effect on anything. Oh, listen to that. You're competent. Are you wanted? Somebody be wanted. No. 
This is going to be kind of hard to get wanted people in here because it means they have to be wanted in the in the Pilots Federation, which kind of sucks. Who's scanning me now? You're clean, okay. Wow, everybody's scanning me. Yeah, it's a new clipper. Be jealous. Come on, somebody be wanted. I know it's tough, but somebody had to have ticked off the Pilots Federation. I just want to try my guns out on something. Is that too much to ask? Man. This stinks. I got all these guns and nothing to shoot at. It was a really good idea to buy it in the Federation system, though. I mean, the uh, Founder's World. Because I don't know if I could have actually got everything if I didn't have all the discounts going for the ship. On Come on. Somebody had to have ticked them off at some point. Maybe? No? Okay. Fine. Alright, let's see... Galaxy map. Let's see if we can find an Imperial system around here somewhere. I don't th I think we're in fed space, which is bad. Like, um... Yeah! Empire's non-existent here. Alright, 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 fine. I wanted to try my guns out on something, dick nabbit. But I don't think I have time to fly all the way back to the Empire right now, so we're probably gonna have to wrap this episode up. I'm gonna have to fly back to the... <sighs> to the station. But I will get some cool screenshots from it. Um, so anyways... Awesome. Awesome sauce. So, we have our clipper. It's official. Um, but I am gonna have to wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace. I take it back. I found a wanted guy. I found one. 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 Scanning, 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 scanning. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. I want one. Under attack. All right. See how this holds up against the Viper. Oh gosh! Oh yes. And you're dead. You are dead. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, oh. Got somebody else. Wait, who's he shooting at? Who are you shooting at? This guy? Yes! This guy! <sighs> Dang it, I used a shield cell bank. I've got to learn my ship again. To be fair, I haven't had shield cells in forever. Alright. Ready for this? i got to make sure that everybody else is out of the clear, though. Oh, wow! Wow! Oh, yeah. Frame shift yeah, no. No frame shifting for you. <laughs> that was amazing! This actually, this feels like it moves pretty well, actually. I expected it to be more sluggish, but it actually feels a bit... Pretty, pretty responsive. Oh, what am I scanning Target that for? That was a system online. authority vessel. <sighs> okay, I can go back to the station happy now. Alright, now we're going to wrap this episode up here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.